to my channel with me and Degarini. He hates me right now. Um, this is going to be a little spend the day with me, but it's actually currently the night before. Um, I've got a new tripod thing to hold, which is good, but it's currently on Wednesday night and I'm going to bring it into the office tomorrow and I've got a boot avenue event tomorrow as well after work, which I'm going to bring you to too. So here we go. Well, this is quite good, this good little hand, but I'm going to go make some food for tomorrow, so I'll bring you along oh, with that as well. Give it a rest. Look at me new handle. Is that a new one? Yeah. You okay? Well, you haven't seen any of the vlog of 2023, it's Josh, looking as miserable as ever. You know that thing where they say, oh, that birth certificate at 2am? I've got, got one. What do you mean? They say, oh, I want, you know, the meme where it says, where's my yes. birth certificate at 2am? I think one. mine's in some house in Walthamstow. <laughs> Dexter. Look, this is a lot cat. <laughs> He's currently got a little um, baldy patch on your son. Watch this roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Don't look at me like that. Dexter, he's, he's hiding. Good, good. Now we're making some progress. Very dark. Look at these beans. Oh! Do you need a new camera. What? Oh, but I know. Dexter loves a good old. Oh no! Every time we really show people, it looks like we're hitting our cat. You just love it, I swear. He love it. He love they it. just love it. <laughs> Do you want food? I've got a vegan lasagna and what else have I got? Oh, a cottage pie. I might just have my um. It's gluten free. I might just have my ramekin. My ramen. We've got a, a lighter lentil courgette lasagna. This one, or you've got a comforting. Lentil pie, cottage pie, the one that we normally get is really nice. Oh, Which one would you want? Oh, Recite me while well, what the food was. What we got on the menu this week, Josh? I knew a word you said to me. What? No more food. Have the spoon. We've had an awful time here, I couldn't find the grater, so I've had to put the cheese on like that. This was another thing, and then we're going to hide it in the oven for like 40 minutes, and it'll go really crispy and delicious, and then I'll plate this up for tomorrow, and I'll show you tomorrow. Good morning. It's crazy. I've got a quarter past six. I meant to go to the gym this morning, but I'm just so tired. I'm considering maybe going after work. I go after work and I'm really bumpy, I should. I just can't be arsed. I just cannot be arsed. And I'm cold and my back's too big. I'm going to go by the bed for an hour, I think. Yeah, go by the bed. Hello, I am back. It is currently about five past seven. Um, oh my god, it's just so cold. What should I do? It's quite five past seven and I'm going to do my hair makeup now. This is what I'm wearing for work. This white shirt, I've got a black trouser on and I've got boots on because I am getting ready for the event tonight. So normally I wouldn't even bother with makeup to be honest with work but if I've got something on the evening I will. So yeah, I will do makeup, do my hair and get out the house. It was just too cold to do anything and I need to find some sort of jump back because I can't sit like this in the office. Like the office is minus one million. Like we're in the main character in this. Mm, this is really modern. Mm. He's very angry because I haven't fed him yet. That's why he's in the room. Oh look, we've got a poor man. Really? I'll feed you in a sec. I'll have to quiet belly. <laughs> oh. It's okay though, isn't it? Right. All that the black drum I was right here. For God's sake, right. No, I'm putting this one on because this is an oversized sweatshirt and this is exactly what my soul needs right now. Um this is from Naked Fashion and it is such a massive 
comfy jumper. Like, it's just the perfect sweatshirt. But Josh, oh my god, look how much fluff's on it. Josh keeps stealing it and it's doing me fucking head in. And I had to grab it out of these little mitts the other day. Right, I am not finished with makeup. I've got to do eyes, but I can do that on the train. And then I'm just packing my gym outfit, so I thought I'd show you what I'm going to wear. So this is brown set. I would prefer not to wear this, but nothing else is washed. But this is from J Lux Fit. J Lux Fit is a really nice brand, and it's like an indie brand. Um, But the tops are just not for me at the minute. They brought these new tops out, and they've got small boobs. It's just not the best. So I'm hoping that they bring some new bits that will suit me because these unfortunately do not i've got this scrunchie from cloud now which is absolute heaven for your hair i don't know ever since i've been using this like i couldn't even care that it's green at the minute um it's just so good for your hair i feel like like my hair help like there's no ripping no ripping out as it would normally be Right, okay, so what else do I need? Second we are borrowing 831, the service to London. Please enter the train departing from platform 15 now. Right, I am now in Paddington. I've just finished the train. Um, and... I only get me pictures around here because it's, um... Look how nice the streets are. They're all, like, so pretty. So I normally, before work, come here, get me outfit of the day, filmed and then head to work at about half nine. But it's the only way I can get it in, so it depends what the weather's like, if it's getting done. But this is the OTD and all black. Oh God, my arm is about to fall off because it's bag, so I'll see you For lunch, I have got this nice porky bowl. And it's got tempeh, it is for a snack. I've got these bad boys. Get me belly. Okay, so I am now in the work toilet getting ready for the Boom Avenue event. But I just realised you go through this top looks a bit nana, doesn't it? Like this is my Nana Wells. She used to wear this with a lacy bra. <laughs> anyway, we're not thinking about that right now. But um, I am currently using my little bourgeois. It's very dark here, isn't it? Maybe I have to move it. Very risky. Using a little bourgeois pink. I got it in an event. Remember these bad boys when we were younger? But um, I have just had the biggest rant ever on um on Instagram. Like for some reason, my account on Instagram has fallen into the hands of pervy old men. For some, I don't know why in America, in Turkey, in India. And I've been very lucky over the last few years, well, this year really, that my account has mostly just been reached out to women, really nice women who are very supportive and it's been like a safe community. But for some fucking reason, my lounge underwear stuff has been pushed to men and it is the most disgusting type of men ever. Like, either being rude about my body or being pervy or just saying where's your only fans i want to see a naked body and i'm like sorry i did not sign up for this i signed up for women like this is the shit side of the internet oh, so i've just listened to emily a talk she just did a podcast episode with fern cotton and one of my followers said um you should listen to this because it's literally about this she gets it all the time and just because you're a curvy woman who's like a sexy woman men just think that they can talk about you this way or like approach you because you're asking for it like it actually pisses me off so much i could tell you and you know what it is it's not even our generation it's the older generation the old pervy dads like the mad thing is like we've all dealt with it at some point in our life and it's just so normal now like it is embedded into everything we do as women and it fucking pisses me off so I put a status and I was like, and then to even top it off, um, I put a status, oh wait, sorry, I'm putting my hands up. And um, this man from Colorado with a wife, by the way, wrote face six out of 10, no, face 6.5, nice body. And it was an old man from Colorado and he says, my wife is my life. And I'm like, if this doesn't sum up this situation, 
what does? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why are you commenting on girls' profiles? It's odd. It's very odd. Oh, so now I'm all wound up and about to go to an underwear event after I've been getting trolled for underwear. So I'm like, women empowerment. So now I'm like, fuck's sake, I'm so fuming. I'm just angry at the worlds of men. And what's worse, I've got a really nice boyfriend who also finds it fucking weird. So it's not all men. It's not all men. It's just a certain genre of men. Disgusting. Uneducated. <sighs> And you ran over. This probably helped me. Actually, no, I'm more nervous about going to this event. And now I'm not going to have two coffees. <sighs> and I'll probably regret this when I'm editing it. But it's women go through it all the time. It's really unfair. And I definitely want to talk about this more because it's an internal anger of mine. And we put up with so much as women for no fucking reason. We shouldn't have to. This is literally sums up the whole thing about women's safety. As a woman. Oh, so what, we're going to just wear big baggy clothes because we don't want to be approached? No, we shouldn't have to do that. Anyway. <laughs> I need to pop some lip liner on. So now I'm just redoing the makeup. Um, this is... About the makeup. Um, this is a MAC liner, right? This is in shade Spice. But I got this on Amazon and I think it's fake because when other people have Spice, it's brown. And this is like nude. Like orange. I'm a bit nervous for this because I haven't done a um event in since like December. No, not even that. November. I'm like I'm just a bit nervous. I know Jess is going for me management. I think some of the people from me management are going, but I do really like the brand. But I'm just a bit nervous because Going into a room full of women that you don't know, and you have to make small talk is my idea of hell. You would think this because I'm very confident, but I do also die inside at small talk. I hate small talk, I find it the most awkward thing ever. I hate small talk. Do not talk with if you're going to small talk with just talk with normal for God's sake. And because of my accent, people always talk about Newcastle and about, oh, where are you from? You know where I'm from? I'm from Newcastle. Like, I could give you the script of how my conversations go. Hi, you all right? Yeah. Oh, where's your accent from? Where you new cut No. Where's your accent from? Is it Welsh? Oh, it's Geordie. Oh, Geordie Shaw. Do you like Geordie Shaw? Um, way I man. Ha ha. Oh, same time. Every time. <sighs> yeah. So, Icomex has been my saviour at the minute. I got a gift box of them at Christmas time. It's like PR. And I've been using it as my, um... Like lip, lip gloss, and it's just so much better than putting lip gloss on because it's better for your lips and it's like a nice shine look. I can't really see this, but delicious. But yeah, I need to go. I'll see you on the other side. Hopefully, I can film a lot, but I do get very nervous, so don't hear me. But I need to go. Right, I'm currently on Oxford Street, right next to Selfridges. I think it's near here. I did just have a wine in a tin a bit of courage because I am very nervous but uh, I think it's around here somewhere oh my god god the streets intense just look oh it's actually not gonna fog is there All right, I'm just gonna have to stand still for a minute So we're currently, this is Selfridges across the road there. And this is the Adidas shop. I actually don't know. I actually don't think I know where I'm going. I think it's around here somewhere. But yeah, wish me luck. I am feeling a bit teacher now. I'm sort of regretting my outfit, should I wear something sexier? This is always the problem. I'm thinking, have I got time to nip into Primark and get a sexy top? Or do I just stick with the shirt and just do boss vibes? I do look a bit like a supervisor at a restaurant right now from this angle, but... Anyway, we're just going with it. Right, it's going to be on my phone from now on because I am way too nervous to do this. Cancer, people who have questions about cervical screening, 
can have an abnormal screening result um, and we raise awareness as well. We raise awareness of cervical cancer, the symptoms and how you can prevent it. And what's quite nice is, a mass, is that I can see an age range in the screen, which is perfect because there's something that everyone can do to reduce their risk of cervical cancer. You, some of you might have had the HPV vaccine in school, you get it around 11, 12, and that provides a really high degree of protection against cervical cancer. Cervical screening is important regardless of whether you've had the vaccine or you haven't. You get invited from 25 up to 64, and it's every three years or five years, depending on your age, uh, for cervical screening. And that, again, provides a high degree of protection. But like you said as well, between the two of these things, we can end cervical cancer. So by encouraging people to go for their screenings, encouraging them to take up the vaccine, we can literally wipe out the cancer. And that's, uh, you can't say that about any other cancers. Well, I am very sorry I didn't show much, but whatever you see before is what I could get. But I did get a little goodie bag, which I will show now I'm on the train and people are looking at this book, I'm just trying to ignore that.